the Olympic Games can be a big influence for kids, inspiring them to take up sports they never even knew existed. And as Tina Martin shows us, a group of local girls caught the bug for one sport which mixes in Hollywood glamour from another generation. Straight arms. It looks like a ballet class as students sashay across the room. In five, six, seven, eight. But maybe it's gymnastics as these young girls work on back bends. Up, one, and two. And then there's certainly a lot of stretching and very specific moves, so maybe it's modern dance. It's kind of like a, a, a mix of sports, so you don't just get to do one, you get to do multiple of them. It's synchronized swimming, a competitive sport that's more popular in other parts of the world than it is here in the U.S. right now. It's part of the Summer Olympics, and that's what caught the eye of Anouk Pierce Boris, a sixth grader from Brookline. I was just like, wow, I really want to do that. It looks so much, like so much fun. My favorite team is the Spanish team, and they, they were just so, like the, the makeup and the hair and everything they did was just so beautiful. One, two, up. About a year ago, close to a dozen girls started training and competing with help from coaches Tatiana Lisaviska and Jamie Olkin Polkaro, who swam on the team at Wheaton College. We've had a lot of interest. We've also had a lot of success. We, we went to one competition last year, a novice competition, and we did incredibly well. We won a couple events. For many of us, synchronized swimming is associated with Esther Williams' glamorous movies from the 1940s and 50s. It looks pretty, but it's hard work. It's uh, gymnastics, choreography, and uh, br brings ba basically all of the strength, endurance, which helps them in the water. The girls swim laps to build up that endurance. And they practice their routines on land to perfect their timing and synchronization. Then it's into the pool, where they spin, flip, swim and dance. Fun, yes, but also a little stressful. I'm just constantly checking to see what they're doing because I'm just like, oh, am I a beat too fast or a beat too slow or what am I doing right now? Nine-year-old Mila Platkov works with the older girls and also has a solo routine. She loves it. It is pretty hard, but I would recommend it for people like who like dancing and gymnastics. And who are ready for a workout. Tina Martin, WGBH News.